Please. I have a question. Uh, I guess I'm just confused, right? Uh, just based off history, since mankind, like money has always been important. Bruh. It's always been important. Like people, like even through marriage, like people want their daughters to go to the man with the most money, the most wealth. Like it's, I don't, so I feel like, is it just black American women have to settle for less money? Because it's confusing me because even like Indians, like they ain't about to be, they don't want their daughters. They, they, they're like conscious of that. Like why other cultures are like, I want you to get the best man, the wealthiest man. So is it just like, we want black American women to settle down with less wealth because of the situation we're in when in other cultures, they, that's like around the world. That's what it is. The man with the most money, he gets the better wife or the better family. I, that's why I'm just like confused. Is it? Is well, it? Let, me, let me answer that one. A, a quick moment. Can I interject? Let me answer yeah. that one. I, I ain't spoken in a moment. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Research. Wait. And so, my whole, wait, hold on. Before, and also my whole thing is like, I do, I have a lot of Indian clients, a lot of Indian rich clients. And they was married, like they were, their families picked their husband, the one with the most money. And that's who they went to. And it's, they together 30, 40, 50 years still together. Like, right. so it's confusing when we try to say black American women, you better just take what you can get, right? But All right. So let me mean. answer. That's let me answer. I'm around Gujarati and Udu and Punjabi people also. Yes. They don't marry husbands. They marry families. Yes. See, see, that's the part you left out. You say yes. But you didn't say that. Respectfully, you said husband. Well, husband, the I actual said, well, the actuality is they marry families. If you're a Coca-Cola family, and this lady over here comes from a hotel family, they got a hotel uncle connection. They arrange marriage mostly based on those type of moves. It's not. It's, it's not about the richest guy. It's about his access. Which I said to Quay and Chloe. The power move. Once once we start talking about stop stop talking about dating, we can see the power move. So to what you just brought to the table, it's not about women settling. Women can go get the same type of dude, except he might be short. Ah, but then we cracking jokes. They can go get the same type of dude. He might be skinny. We cracking jokes. He might be older. We cracking jokes. He might. You, you see what I'm saying? We're not a serious community. We're, we're, we're not. We crack jokes and giggle, giggle, giggle. That's that's our main claim to fame. So when you say do black women have to settle, and I'm going to pass the mic to the brother, but let's dig what settling really is. When we see a woman, tall woman on TikTok with a short guy, why do we tease that girl? It ain't the brothers doing it. Quay, Chloe, it ain't the brothers doing it. So why why do we tease that girl if it's really about when we see uh Miss Bynes find her man and her man feel he the prop? Why do we verbally attack? Because that's who we are as a community. They're not settling, but guess what? We with our crystal ball, we can see into the future. What it is is we black men, half of us, have been dumb for very long, and we've been servants for very long. And some, some, some of the sisterhood do not see us as human beings. They just see us as people who should serve them. So when you say settle, the Japanese girl is with a a, a short, hairy chest dude. She ain't thinking about settling. She just, hey, this is a great dude. He treats me well. The Latina, the Jewish, all these people, the, the 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 majority of the percentage of them do not look at these things that our community looks 